Well, I was interested in exploring how a variety of different crabs communicate with each other. The crabs that we work on, we actually get them from Florida. Typically, they are quiet little crabs running around in their little arenas, but if you approach them with another crab or with objects in any kind of threatening way, they get very defensive and they will hold out their claws in this spread threat display and then start making this growling sound as they lunge forward trying to pinch you. I've only observed these crabs making the sound when they are annoyed or when they are feeling very aggressive. I initially brought these guys into the lab to study you know, how they were producing sound and while I had them in the lab and trying to induce them to, to make sounds, it turns out they weren't doing what they were supposed to do, which was to make sounds using their, their claws. Instead, they were producing this you know, growling type of sound coming from somewhere internal. And so that actually led to a long series of <laughs> faulty attempts to try and figure out what the source of the sound was. Inside Science. This is an audio file of one of the crabs making the sounds that we're recording. So we're going to play this and you'll be able to hear in live time the crabs making this screechy sound. We had this hypothesis that it was coming from, you know, the special structure, a series of teeth that are located in their stomach that are used to grind food as the animal is processing food. Initially, we attempted to try and pinpoint the source of the sound, and so I purchased an endoscope, a small endoscope, and tried that on these crabs, and it did not work so well. I kept pulling out the endoscope, and eventually one just crunched right through it and ate the endoscope. We ultimately found ourselves going to our local university hospital and put them on the standard table that people go onto when they're getting x-rays and tried to induce them to make the sound, hoping that we could visualize movement of the gastric bill. And eventually we did it, and so it worked. I think it's important to study things such as how animals are producing sound, because one, it, it helps us to better understand the different animals that we you know, share this planet with. So it's important for us to understand how they work how we interact with them. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.